Hi, I'm Ben Messenger for Waste Management World. We're in Munich at the EFAT exhibition. I'm on the JFE stand with Marcin. Marcin, can you tell us about the company? Yes. We are JFE Engineering Corporation from uh, Yokohama in Japan. Uh, our company history goes back to 1912 and uh, we are active in waste to energy industry since 1968. Uh, since then we have uh, about 170 reference plants in uh, Japan and in uh, other parts of the world. Uh, they are both in uh, conventional grade stalker technology and also in our newest technology which is uh, gasification. So Martin, we have this poster behind us. Can you explain the technology? Yes. Uh, here at IFAT Trade Fairs, we are promoting our newest technology, which is uh, gasification technology. Uh, you can see it on the poster. So uh, the technology uh, dif difference point from the Great Stoker technology is here in the uh, first step. Instead of uh, furnace, we have a gasifier in which we convert the wastes which can be municipal solid waste, RDF, or industrial, including medical waste. We are converting the waste into the synthetic gas, and then we combust the gas in the secondary combustion chamber. Uh, the waste that do not convert to the gas, mainly ash content in the waste, they fell down to the bottom of the gasifier, and in a very high temperature uh, range from 1,600 uh, degrees to 2,000 degrees, the waste are melted and we have a continuous slag extraction at the bottom of the, of the gasifier. So when we combust the synthetic gas in the secondary combustion chamber, then we have a boiler, we produce steam, and from steam we can have uh, electric uh, energy production or both heat and electric energy production. So Martin, you men mentioned about some of the residues that were removed as slag. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yes. Uh, in the bottom of the gasifier, we have a continuous slag extraction and the slag goes to the water granulation conveyor. Uh, the slag that we get at the bottom of the gasifier is neutral material. It's completely safe. It looks like uh, artificial sand. So this is great advantage of our technology. Uh, in comparison to great stoker And what, what can this be used for? Well, in Japan, it, it is used as the material for road construction. So it's actually recycled back into a, a useful product? Yes, exactly. So with this technology, we can achieve a full circle, the sustainable uh, waste management system. So Martin, what about the reference plants for this technology? Yes, uh, we have uh, 10 reference plants in Japan and they are all shown on the panel uh, posted over there. So maybe we can move to that site and then I will explain in more details. So Martin, you've told us about the gasification and melting technology, but I understand you have a number of reference plants that are actually using this system. Yes, this is true. We have uh, 10 operating plants all in Japan uh, and uh, the oldest plants were commissioned in 2003. There is five plants that were commissioned in 2003 and they are operating for more than 10 years now without any major uh, operational or, or technology problems. And uh, I would also like to explain about one plant that we now uh, have under construction in Rome, Italy. And what type of feedstock are these plants typically processing? Uh, the feedstock uh, is uh, municipal solid waste, RDF, in some of the plants it is also, indu also industrial waste, uh, including medical waste. So the uh, range of uh, the waste that can be treated in our technology is very wide. And what kind of size are most of these facilities? Uh, the sizes of the facilities uh, are very different. Uh, they start with the one ton per hour and end up uh, with the 13 tons per hour. Uh, so the, also the uh, lineup, the size of the facilities is quite broad. Okay, so I understand the largest facility is around 13 tons per hour. Uh, the largest facility, exactly. This is uh, Fukuyama, uh, located plant in Japan, and uh, it is uh, treating uh, 13 tons per hour 
so about 314 tons per day of waste. It is our biggest reference plant now operating. And I understand that facility is processing RDF, so the municipal waste has been processed prior to um, being used at the facility as fuel. Yes, exactly. For this plant, uh, this plant is designed to operate with the high calorific uh, value RDF. So the feed is uh, about uh, 16 megajoules uh, in, in the fuel, in RDF, and uh, the electrical output is about 20 megawatts of electrical power. And does the design of the system change much from processing RDF to processing municipal solid waste? No, it's uh, basically it's the same. So where can our viewers go to find out more information? Uh, if you'd be interested in more information about our company and uh, our technology, uh, please uh, find it in the web page. You can uh, type our address, which is uh, www.jfe-eng.co.jp. Great. Martin, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.